Okay. Well, so I started last April 1st, so it's been almost a year since I started in the lab. And when I was looking for a postdoctoral research position, I was really interested in Dr. Loring's lab. Um, she's a really well-known stem cell field. And what I liked about the lab is it's very translational. And so... And, and by translational, that they're working on getting stuff out you know, to medicine. Yeah, exactly. A lot, of, a lot of stem cell labs are very focused yeah. on what happens in the lab and what happens on the bench. Um, I think Gene's more focused on you know taking what people have done and moving it to the clinic and, and, and to the patients. And so I was really um, impressed by that and by the project Gene was talking about. This project, she said, it's different from a normal research project because you know there's gonna be a lot of patient involvement and we need you to be to interact with patients and you know I give talks to patient groups and to um, patient support groups. Okay. And so it's been very different, but it's been amazing and I've really enjoyed it. And I think the project is, is amazing. And the people involved with the project, Sherry and Dr. Hauser and Dr. Loring and all the patients have just yeah. been great to work with. And what uh, about uh, what the patients, that the, the main, I, or one of the main roles I understand is that you know, they're raising money f mm -hmm. for the project and raising awareness. Yeah. But do they also, what else is it like to work with them? Do they give you any insights to help you in your research or to motivate you or, or, yes. or what's it? Uh, yeah, um, so one of the things that we do is we give a, a tour once a month to patients or patients' families, people that we're trying to get aware, of, to make aware of the project. Yeah. and. One thing that's working in a lab all the time is that you can kind of get to the point where you're doing the same thing over and over again or you've done it, you know, it's kind of, you get bored by it or it's hard to maintain motivation all the time. But then when you have people come into the lab and they're like, wow, it's really amazing what you do. Um, you know, you must be so excited. You have, you're doing great work. And just being able to talk to the people that we're trying to help is just, it's just fantastic. And it's, it really is motivating on a month-to-month -month basis. So you don't get to the point where you get in a rut and you feel like you're doing the same thing all the time. You really you get to talk to the people you're trying to help, and it, it's the motivation is, is really amazing. You know, is, is that, uh, can that be a danger for postdocs? You get so locked into your research, into your lab, that you just have tunnel vision and you can't see past that? Yeah, I think it's not just for postdocs. It's for graduate students and, and researchers everywhere. Um, a lot of people get focused on their very little tiny area of academia. And I think most people don't end up talking with, to, to the general public or to patients. And having to do that and having to communicate your research to the general public really changes your perspective on what you're doing and um, gives you more of a broad perspective on why you're doing it and where you want it to go forward. And it's just really different than you know, studying one little pathway or something like that. It's, it's, I think it's completely different from the normal types of research. What are some of the challenges that you might have doing this kind of research, which is a, a, a bit unconventional, is that it's not government funded, it's purely patient and research driven? Well, the challenge is getting the funds. It's a lot easier to get large chunks of government money because the grant, the funding mechanisms are there. Um, the funding mechanisms could be um, from hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions of dollars. and what We've been working on, I mean, Summit for Stem Cell has done a great job raising the first $300,000 chunk, and yeah. that was really got the, the ball rolling. And what we've done is we've tried to work on multiple levels of raising individual donations and also um, trying to go after larger philanthropic donations, and Ed's really taken a, um, a lead on that. And instead of trying to get you know, 10, 50, $100 donations, we're gonna try to get larger and larger donations to really move this forward because it's gonna take a lot of money to okay. do that. And uh, any other comments uh, right now? Anything else you want to add? Um, no, I, I, I really think that the question you asked me about the motivation yeah. is really my biggest in, input on this project, is being able to see the people and hear from them how they feel about the work that we're doing and how important it is to them is really different from anything I've done, and it's really extremely motivating. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.